Hello, friends, and welcome to the Cinemondo podcast with Kathy and Burke talking about movie trailers today because it says so right there. Trailers. What movie? What, mo what movie? What movie? We are reviewing the second trailer for Pendulum. We did a review of it a little while back, and there's a oh. little bit of a delay, but now it's coming out. It's coming out, I think, this month. Uh, oh. Very excited to see this movie. It looks really trippy. It doesn't look like anything I've really seen before. So oh. it's called Pendulum. It's directed by Jithin S. Babu and Regin S. Babu, and also stars VJ Babu. I'm assuming this is a family oh. project. <laughs> I would think so. <laughs> I think or there's a lot of coincidence. In this. Exactly. There's a lot. <laughs> so I love it because it's a little indie. It seems like genre, kind of sci fi, horror ish, and maybe not as much horror, but a little more sci fi. Uh, looks really intriguing, the first trailer. So I'm really interested in seeing if we get more information in the second trailer. So we're going to take a look at this. Okay. All right. Are we ready Let's to roll it. it? Ready to roll. All right. Here <laughs> we go. Daddy, confirm. ഏഴാം <laughs> 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 ും Why did you just toss the coin? Just to make sure I am not in a dream. I love that logo. It's such a yeah, well designed cool logo. logo. Oh my it's god, it's cool. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so very much cool. detail. So well, I, I love the aspect of this that looks it looks like he's kind of dreaming or not dreaming. Like he can never he can't tell the difference if he's in a real dream or not. And everyone's also now starting to question like oh, what's happening here yeah uh, and i love some of the effects were really i love the building just kind of almost like a um like a almost like a rubik's cube or something. i don't know what was going on there it's like moving up yeah the house the oh, changing cool. shape yeah yeah that was very very cool it's a bit really inception-y like in a in a way yeah. it seems like the coin flip is the is yeah. you know the, the the item that you that you have in uh, inception like um his top that he spins that's right to sort that's of right. let you know if you're theater. in a dream or not but it's it really is a great i mean that subject matter is always really interesting to me about so i love good. time travel movies and they're talking about you know time isn't continuous it's all simultaneous and there's some yeah. physics some some somewhat uh, serious physics that talks about time in regard to to it everything happening yeah. simultaneously and our brains yeah. are just sort of parsing it out in a way that we can understand yeah. there's a little more to it than that but but that's <laughs> a quick explanation but the fact that our brains are are what they are they're biological mush up there that that interprets what we see with our eyes and feel with our senses mm -hmm. but in fact the real what they call out the real world that's out there yeah. is totally different than what our our senses can perceive and I like the idea when a film 
seems to or story science fiction story or film addresses those kind of big issues yeah. that make you kind of go whoa that's so cool that's right. a mind blower kind of disorienting you come Love out of that. the theater a little bit like you know with a christopher nolan film like memento or something where it plays with time plays with right. reality and mm -hmm. plays with your perception and how you perceive yeah. reality and the passage of time and all that stuff it seems like a yeah. fascinating concept it does. And think about, too, when you're watching a movie, it's almost like you're lucid dreaming. Like you're involved, you're in a movie, you're feeling emotions, you feel like you know the people. In a weird way, it's sort of like dreaming while you're awake, seeing a movie. So I kind of like is. the inside, the inside, the inside, <laughs> inside this It's idea. like entering someone else's dream in a way, like yeah. experiencing the world inside yeah. somebody else's consciousness. You know, yeah. you're seeing their thoughts and their their um, ideas and everything. Yeah. And uh, there was some beautiful cinematography in this. I liked a lot yeah. of the like the real epic scopic kind of uh, photography of following a person behind him, and you just see this big wide open space, or even just yeah. the, the lighting on the truck, like this kind of weird warm lighting, yeah. and make it seem a little surreal. And I don't know, just some really gorgeous like cinematic touches. I thought were really nice, um, nicely done. And uh, the acting looks like it's not too over the top. Like it looks like right. it's, you know people like underplaying, which makes it feel grounded. Even more yeah, yeah. It's like Molly all <laughs> it's like they keep it real. Yeah. So that's what I like about it. they're doing this kind of crazy big idea, but it's yeah. Molly Allen style, so they keep it kind of really small and grounded moments with lots of emotional connection and lots of character development. So yeah, in this movie, this will be and very, that's the thing cool. that I've always talked about. You know, if there's if the characters are believable and if they are mm -hmm. committed to the story, yes, and they're and they they are there and they they are one hundred percent. Mm -hmm. in you know existing in this world then yeah. you can accept these absurd weird crazy bizarre things that happen mm -hmm. and it's a lot more effective because you're experiencing them with the characters right. in a way that's realistic i mean if the whole thing is like overblown and and uh yeah. you know hyper acted yeah. then when the weird things happen it's like oh it's just weirdness part yeah, of the world everything's effect. weird yeah right. But that's a but when point. you have a grounded world with real natural natural style acting and characters yeah. that you like and believe and then something is tweaked about yeah. reality it has a disorienting effect and it i think I, that's something that i really love when people can do that in a film even in this trailer i like how they formatted it where it's it's a lot of people talking you know it's like a lot of you know theorizing like what's happening what's real and not real and then all of a sudden they show this weird house and you're like whoa yeah like that was because you there were no effects really before that. You weren't you you got a few yeah. indicators of like he wakes up kind of like where am I? But that was a great moment in the trailer. So I'm hoping they have a lot more moments like that in the movie because that kind of yeah. like you said grounded without a ton of effects. And when something weird like that happens, it seems even massive because it seems real. It's even more yeah. Effective. And you're you're like what the hell am I seeing? Uh -huh. And when in fact right. if the if the whole movie was full of things like that, you'd be like oh it's another crazy thing right. happening. You know. Yeah, I know. And I love little low budget movies like this. Like, you know, yeah. it's, it's, you know, in the, I call it indie movies, you know, I don't yeah. know. It's like they're, they're lower budget, but I feel like sometimes they're more genuine and authentic. But I have a few posters we can look at. We looked at them in the other um, thing, but I think they're worth revisiting because they're actually very cool. So this is our main actor sitting in this beautiful, beautiful design wow. of like logo. I mean, he's, he's clearly it's a special shoot. He was stripped in, but that's really cool looking. It almost yeah. has more like a kind of harry potter field <laughs> yeah got, like he's inside the clock tower at hogwarts yeah. or something but it's like that this whole broken glass in the clock yeah. you know which makes you think something's up and you know what does pendulum mean you know what's right. gonna how's it you know mean the context of this and they have little clocks all over the room it looks like different indicators like the what's clock going on? if he's in if he's inside the clock tower the clock should be facing outward but this one is facing inward which is interesting mm, he's inside the clock oh, this is weird yeah. but it should be backwards yeah that's really trippy and then that would have been cool and then i love this kind of old style steampunk uh, like that yeah, was very Steve cool. Punk. Like, yeah, I like that because I didn't really get that from the trailer that it's kind of that fantasy steampunk because it's more real now. But this is just beautiful. It looks like almost like a radio, but it's lots of clocks. Yeah, I was and thinking radio, like time. an old timey radio. Yeah, there's different clocks in there. That's yeah. really cool looking. And then uh, one more. This is more of the other characters that are in the in the movie with the same. You know, keeping them very consistent with that kind of steampunk richness you know it's got a really nice yeah. uh vibe to it so kind of well done you know? 
Yeah. I mean, if I hadn't seen the trailer, I would still be, oh, what is this? Like, I'd be interested because it's just beautiful. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm always trying to do a beautiful poster and it doesn't always work out that way. <laughs> yeah. It's an artistic poster. It's we're trying. Created, created by so, an artist. <laughs> right. Exactly. So we're really looking forward to this movie. Um, hoping we can talk to the filmmakers at some point. We'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, that'd be so cool. So stay tuned. Yes. So thanks so much. And uh, let us know what you think about Pendulum. Do you have any theories? Do you know what's going on in this movie? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, what do you think yeah. about Lucid Dreaming? Oh. Well, like, what's the kind of stuff do you guys dream about? But don't tell me. What is know. reality? <laughs> exactly. Let's just discuss below in the in the comments. What What is exactly. reality? What is it? I don't know. <laughs> Can you tell me? <laughs> tell us, please. <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody. Bye.